Welcome back. Work continues on the engine replacement for the Nissan Rogue. The kids are still busy working on that pedal car project, and we're going to be rebuilding the main mass cylinder for this forklift. Thanks for tuning in. The students decided to remove the body from the frame on the pedal car, so they're drilling out all of the rivets. They're cutting sections of pipe as they plan to extend the frame. The students are trying to figure out how they're going to re-engineer the front end to extend it and still have the steering work. With that figured out, they're cutting the steering off from its original location. Now they're cutting off some of the unnecessary parts of the frame before fabricating it to make it longer. The first step is to unhook the chains from the mask, and then disconnecting the hydraulic supply line. The lift chains are pulled through the rollers at the top of the cylinder. Then the roller assembly is removed. A mounting bracket is removed, then the cylinder is ready to lift out. The cylinder piston is solid, so it's pretty heavy. <laughs> you alright, man? You gonna stay there for a while? <laughs> you can see here the wiper seal is blown, but that's not what's causing the leak, but it's going to be replaced with the kit. We don't have the correct spanner socket to take this off, so we're using an air chisel to push it around. Most of what needs to be replaced is in this cap. With both seals and the O-ring removed, we'll get everything cleaned up before installing the new parts. Having a long arm is helpful in getting the inside of the cylinder clean. They're installing the guides to help keep the piston centered in the cylinder. And lubricating it before installing it. This is the new seal we're putting in. You can see it's tapered a little bit so that when hydraulic pressure gets against it, it actually tightens itself around the piston to create a better seal. And this is what we took out of it. All of this used to be that one piece seal you just saw. When putting the seal in, we need to make sure it's facing the correct direction. This seal keeps the hydraulic pressure in the cylinder. And the O-ring is used to keep fluid from leaking where the two pieces go together. The seal gets lubricated before installing it back onto the piston. Now we'll tighten it back down the same way we took it apart. We're using a ratchet strap to help lower the cylinder down because of its weight. It gets guided into position, then everything is hooked back up. did a great job of getting that lift cylinder back together. Let's fire it up, make sure we don't have any leaks.
works like it should. The students are working on getting the cradle out. It's been a while, but the 48 Chevy makes its way back to the school. Next time on Bulldog Builds, work continues on our pedal car project. We'll have the engine out of that Nissan Rogue, and some major work begins on an O2 Isuzu Trooper. See you next week.